How about the conversation I had on the limo getting to the O'Hare airport on my way to fly out here with Ali Mohammed, whose name is really Mohammed Ali, but when he came to America, they wouldn't let him take his name that way. They said it might confuse people, maybe put fear in their hearts or something. So I'm talking with Ali. We've met each other in the past. And we're talking, and, 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 I, and I find out he's from uh, India, but from the north. He's Muslim background, and we start talking about that. We talk about some of the difficulties it's been for non-radical Muslims in this country, given some of the uh, issues. And, and, and I said, do you hear much about Christianity? And he says, yeah, we, we, we believe that you believe that there's three gods and we believe that you think Jesus is the son of God. We think he's a prophet. We don't think God cohabited with anybody. I said, oh, you think Christians believe that God cohabited with a woman? Because no Christian believes that. And he says, oh, that's interesting. Tell me about that. So, so just like we can sometimes have ideas of what they may believe and be misinformed because we've heard it second or third hand, they can also believe things about us that they've heard second or third hand. So there could be clarity of definition. That's always good. And that happened with uh, Ali, and he appreciated that. And I said, but the issue of the Trinity, let's talk about that for a minute. Let me ask you three questions I said to him. Question one, is God a contingent being or a non-contingent being? 90% of the time they say, what does contingent mean? And you have to say it's like cause and effect. Does God have a cause or is he a necessary being, an independent existence, self-existent? He says, oh, he's non-contingent. I said, do you believe God's a God of love? He said, yes, I do. Third question, who's the object of his love? And he said, well, his creation. I said, but if he needs his creation to fulfill his nature, then he's a contingent being and not a non-contingent being. Relational attributes in a non-contingent being presuppose that relationship is necessary in that being. And he freaked out because there was a moment of disequilibrium that was incompatible with his present theological framework. And we talked about that for a bit. And I said, you know, Ali, why this is so important? And whatever the discussion is apologetically or theologically, get to the heart of this whole message. I said, Ali, the reason why the love of God that exists in God himself is so important to us is because God loves us unconditionally. His love is ontological. It's essential to his being. God is love. His love cannot be improved by our well-doing or diminished by our poor doing. People, if you read it right, God has never ceased to love Satan. It would be against his nature to do that. There's judgment and there's wrath. And sometimes wrath is the best expression love can give when people will have other terms. But nevertheless, I said, it's, is this okay? I said his love is ontological. And and therefore, God is love. And it's rooted in the very character and nature of God. And because he loves us so much, the scriptures say, but God proved his love for us. And that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. His love predisposes him to make it possible for we who have rejected him to be reconciled to him. And Claudia was in the car. Ali was into it, wasn't he? It was amazing. So it doesn't always go well. And sometimes you might strike out. If you're afraid to strike out, don't play baseball. But if you don't play baseball, you'll never know the joy of hitting a home run. And if you've got 500,000 in the D.C. area, you've got lots of opportunity. Is that okay? All right. That that conversation was what, Claudia, last Tuesday? 